very first business forum of Pastor Jerome Fernando Ministries in 2020. Men, listen to me. I don't stand here as a man who knows everything. But what I do know, I know it works and that's what I'm sharing with you. Christians are more focused on doing a lot of other things and not on the money. Your focus needs to be gains, godly gains. How does a prophet of God help us with business? You know, Jesus was a carpenter helping fishermen to catch fish. That carpenter is my boy. So permit me room to show you a few things. You might be doing a kingdom business, but you're doing it in a fallen world. I am motivated and inspired to help you make the most amount of money you have ever made in your life to make it this year. I am inspired. Blessed are you if you have a personal profit in your life. That means you submit to the grace God has given me and you follow my advice. These are not books that I've read. This is what he teaches me on a daily basis. Remember, he is the only wise God. The system is rigged. It doesn't matter if you come up with the best product tomorrow. It will not come to you until you get in there and spiritually rig the system. If you are not spiritually strong, there are certain businesses you will never get. Lazy people sleep too much. When the system is rigged like it was in Acts chapter 16, the mind is manipulated. Spiritual warfare is not demons coming after you. Spiritual warfare is in the mind. The marketplace product, whether you win it or not, is determined by how the consumer thinks. And you have to win it first spiritually before you can win it physically. God's name is not supposed to be used for business. Never do it. There's no such thing as a season for a Christian. That word in season there in the Hebrew means always. I prophesied to this guy that he's supposed to be one of the top sport good suppliers in all of the country very soon he's not far he's getting there he's getting there so this is your opportunity quickly ask questions even though they're my close friends we agree on a lot of things but spirituality isn't one of them if i had this religious mentality i'm not supposed to work with a non-christian you're stupid in such a scenario how do i know whether consultancy is for me you're taking off with the right motive so you can't go wrong is the use of credit cards is good or bad? We are trying to do business in what world? In a fallen world. Not everybody has that kind of intelligence to use borrowing to their advantage. How do you deal with that? Either work with the same to move forward or eliminate. You as a leader need to influence others and change others for the better. You're doing it or not, but if you feel guilt in your heart, I think you should leave it. If I were in your shoes and I have the choice, then I would not do it. If it affects your conscience, it becomes sin. It's better to have a person who is 100% efficient and totally dishonest. Which one would you choose? I would choose neither. Is that acceptable to be that way? Because now I'm not with them in the front line. Do you think that I should go ahead? Don't seek advice. Should you take care of the opportunity cost? I was became the best customer. They made money, I also made money. This family found that right from its roots, we give to get and our God is a giver. The right attitude to money cannot buy you happiness, but it will bring you great joy. Would you come for the next business forum? And I'm sure you'll be talking about this for some time. Thank you, Jesus.